Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy from Tarot Readings by Kathy, and I'm happy to be back doing some Tarot Tuesday readings for you. Um, hope you're all doing well. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take a moment and take a deep breath and just relax. And this is a pick a card reading. So after you've taken a deep breath, I'm going to ask you to pick a card. You're going to choose either card number one, card number two, or card number three. Um, if you're drawn to more than one card, you can certainly pick more than one. That's fine as well. Um, but I would definitely suggest to go with whichever one you're drawn to first. Okay, so um, if you've taken your deep breath and you've chosen your card, this is going to be a short message for you for the coming uh, week ahead. And we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So we're going to start with card number one. If you chose card number one, you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is water energy. Um, you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now this may be your energy, or it could be someone you're dealing with. This person is very emotional, very sensitive. Um, there is a, a notation of romance with this connection. Um, it could be a, it could be a love connection. It could also be a very, very deep friendship. Um, there may be an age difference with this person. You may be dealing with someone, um, that has quite an age difference with, um, younger, older, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a male energy. It can be male or female. Um, this person is coming into your life or has already been in your life and I feel like you're reconnecting with them in some very deep emotional way so this could be um, deepening a relationship or a friendship um, getting to know someone better on an emotional level and if this is about you this is about you um, really listening to your emotions and really tuning into them and the message i'm getting is not to be afraid um feelings are never wrong so whatever those feelings are and they may be um difficult feelings they may be you know negative feelings whatever those feelings are um it's asking you to go ahead and explore them embrace them explore them and don't be afraid of them okay so that is card number one. All right, so moving on to card number two. So if you chose card number two, you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so we have another Cups. Um, and let me turn this around so you can see it a little better. So this again is water energy. You may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is interesting um, since we had the Knight of Cups there. This may be representing you or it could be representing um, a person in your life. So with this in reverse, it tells me that there is some type of emotional draining going on. So. You may be feeling overly emotional. There may be somebody who is draining you emotionally. Um, this person might be doing it on purpose. They might know how to push your buttons, so to speak, or what really upsets you um, in order to upset you emotionally. For some of you, this could be um, someone you're related to. For some of you, I'm feeling it could be a sister or a mother or an aunt, or even like an ex-partner. Um, but again, take it how it applies to your situation. This also talks about intuition and 
when we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, we're not listening to our intuition. It's it's there. It's very strong, but we're ignoring it. So you may be, um, you know, doubting your intuition or listening to what people are saying, listening to the facts when you know deep down inside what is really going on. Okay. So the message here is um, don't let anyone try to control how you feel or try to disrupt you emotionally and always 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 listen to your intuition because it's always right okay all right so there we have card number two and i did want to mention i am using the light seers tarot deck it's a beautiful deck and that is by chris ann okay so last but not least guys we have card number three So if you chose card number three, you have the five of swords. Okay, so definitely a different energy coming in here with this card. Um, sword energy is air energy. You may be dealing with an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Libra, or Aquarius. Now, this person looks very much in distress. With the five in numerology, there's always a conflict, okay? This person looks as if the conflict is following him. Um, I'm not sure what this figure is in the background here, but it looks like maybe they had an argument or a fight, and it, this energy seems to be following him. He looks stressed. He looks like he maybe has a headache. Um, it could be there's an issue with somebody with migraines or somebody that gets a lot of headaches due to stress. Um, now this can represent you or it could represent a person or situation in your life. I think for a lot of you, this is conflict with another person. Um, it could be a boss. It could be a coworker. It could be, um, a significant other take it how it applies to you but with the five there is always going to be disagreements there's going to be conflicts and the air energy speaks about communication so there could be a lot of miscommunication this week okay and again this could be one person in particular or it could be a group of people um for some of you there's somebody that is not telling you the truth or they are, um, I, mean, I hate to say lying, but maybe not telling you the whole truth. And there is a sense of anxiety here with this card. So <clears throat> if you're dealing with someone who is, you know, difficult or negative, or this could be you, this could be you thinking difficult, negative thoughts, um, or stressing over something that's happened, a conflict perhaps with somebody, a fight. Um, it is it, it is talking about trying to resolve it, okay? Sometimes when we have situations like this, the best thing to do is to not respond, okay? If somebody is um, being very negative, sometimes they want attention and... Sometimes the best thing to do is to be the bigger person and to walk away. Um, if there is communication, a lot of times it's going to turn into a fight or disagreement. Okay. So the message here is choose your battles wisely. Okay. All right, guys. So there we have your reading for the week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a message. Let me know which card you chose and how it resonated to your situation. I love to read about all of your personal um, stories and situations. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do that. And um, my Facebook page, please um, subscribe to that. And if you'd like a personal reading, one that is specific to you and your situation and your energy, um, I would love to do that for you as well. Please contact me for that. I'll leave all of my contact information down below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the week.